Thank you, Matthew. We'll have a good game. So. Joining me for this one is Stephen yeah, Hallworth and okay, Matthew Stevens. First frame. He's got Jed two to legs break. of the, the Triple Crown on his CV, a UK Championship, and a, a Masters title as well. As for Judd Trump, well, he's got all three. Yeah, good afternoon, Phil. Good afternoon, everybody. Another really interesting group we've got. We was blessed with a fantastic day of snooker yesterday. On paper, it looked like it was going to be a great group, and today's looks very similar. I expect a high standard of snooker. Two fabulous players on offer. First up today, Matthew Stevens, Judd Trump. What a nice start to your Thursday afternoon this could be. Black immediately tied up, which is perhaps a good thing from Stevens' standpoint. This is the world number four, Trump, against the world number 44, Stevens. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Judd goes about his business today. Of course, this being the first event of the season, these top boys always looking to try and just tick one box as early as possible, get their hands on a trophy. And you can bet your money that Judd Trump will be trying his hardest for that. Maybe a good thing as well that he's playing today, because if he wins today's group, or whoever wins today's group, is straight back in action tomorrow. Well, in terms of the cue ball going deep into bulk, it was a perfectly legitimate safety shot, but Matthew Stevens clearly did not expect the red to find its way over the middle. Foul. Trump didn't expect the cue ball Four. to find its way into the Matthew pocket. Stevens. Scratchy start. Yeah, there's, there were two very bizarre shots from both players there. Matthew Stevens with the safety shot looked a dead set plant towards that Middle pocket, obviously didn't see it, but what a mistake that is from Judd Trump. They've played each other five times in the Championship League over the years. Trump has won four of those meetings, but they haven't encountered each other in this tournament since 2014. Actually, not that many meetings between them in other events. Trump leads 3-1 in head-to-heads. He won a Premier League match in 2011. Came back from 4-3 down to win 5-4 in the last 32 of the World Open in 2014. And also beat Matthew Stevens 4-1 in the last 32 of the English Open in 2017. And that's the last time they came up against each other in anything. Yeah, it's quite mad to think that two players that have been on the tour for so long and sort of at the top of the game 
There's only 128 players, give or take, on the tour at any one time. And to not draw each other for that length of time is, is quite strange. In a ranking event, Stevens' only win over Trump came on quite a big occasion, actually. Quarter-final of the World Open in 2013. He prevailed 5-3. And he might prevail today if Trump continues to misfire like this. Not made a, an impressive start at all. Yeah, it was a tough red he was going for there. Played it with an element of safety, trying to stun out for the black, but again, because he didn't get too close to it, hit the pack of reds. But he's not left anything easy for Matthew. So it's just the safety. Got away with one there, did Judd. You can get a frame like this at any time in any match in any tournament. But most likely, a frame of this nature will occur either in the, the early stages of a contest in the first frame or when it's a decider and the nerves are raw. Yeah, Judd's taken a couple of attempts on so far. But you just feel that he's going to be patient now. Just try and ease himself into this game, as will Matthew. Neither player wanting to take any major risks on so early in a game. We often talk about it, and it applies today. First frames in matches are huge, particularly in this short format. So there were a couple of matches yesterday where a player had gone 2-0 up and pegged back to a draw, and it made a massive difference come the end of the day. So every frame is so important. Again, Matthew pushing a red towards that middle. He needs some cover. May have just got it. Now, whoever gets in first will have a bonanza, or should have a bonanza. Reds everywhere. Yeah, it's a funny frame, and it's, it's one of them, as you say, that if you make the slightest mistake, leave the opponent attempt at, could be end of frame. These balls are absolutely everywhere. How you would usually start a practice session, just chuck them out of the box and just get your arm going. This will be a great chance if someone can get in here. I think that red to middle, just over the left middle there, will cut in if Matthew's not careful with where he leaves the cue ball here. So he wants to try and get as close to that corner of the table as he can.
Well, he's played a pretty good shot there. He's got Judd nailed to that ball cushion. Can't really play a containing safety either because there's so many reds available. He may be forced into something here. And abyss. Five. We saw James Cahill badly miscue from a, a similar place to that in the first frame against Dave Gilbert yesterday. And for the rest of the contest, he was essentially a, a spectator. That was a, a total miss. Yeah, it's not really the sort of shot you want to be going for so early on in the game. He was going for the long red. What? Again, he was forced into it. And a bad miscue has presented Matthew Stevens with a fabulous opening opportunity. Nothing safe. Doing the right thing here by putting the blue back on its spot. In a situation such as this, often taking the balls in the right order is the main thing. Six. Yeah, Matthew will just try to tidy up the top end of the table. Just remove those three reds if he can just in case if Seven. anything does go wrong at, throughout the break, that he can have the option to play safe. Although it's very difficult to see that anything could go wrong here. If he could get rid of any red on the table, he'd love to get rid of the red that's just to the right of the black spot. If he pops the black, it'll tie the black up somewhat. But no need to think too much about that just yet. Ten. Well, he's played for pink to middle there and he could have played that a little bit better wanted to be a little bit straighter on this and it's awkward queuing from the side rail over that red so he may be forced into playing the black not ideal because the cue ball is running away I think pink's the shot but it's a tester Eighteen. Twenty-three. So many options. Just leave the cue ball in a zone. Yeah, and quite often we see when a, a player has got a chance such as this where virtually everything is potable, you can sort of try and be too cute at times and almost question yourself when you're down. It's important to just try and leave your cue ball in an area, give yourself a few options. Of course, as the reds start disappearing, you've got to be a little bit more accurate with your cue ball control, but for now, just keep things as simple 29. as possible. One ball at a time, as they say. Four. 
30. But as far as chances go in opening frames, this is more than ideal. This is exactly how you'd like them, just to settle yourself down. Just an embarrassment of riches can actually lead to indecision when you've got so many choices. Forty-one. Forty-two. Continuing to ignore the black because of the red that Stephen mentioned earlier. But he can drop on that particular red right now. Thing is, though, the break is so straightforward. 47. Why take any chance at all? They're all there, and he's only a few pots away from winning the frame. 48. Yeah, and a great chance for Matthew to set a good target for the break. We saw that come into play yesterday in the group on table two. So always worth just focusing your efforts. 54. That touch more when the frame has been won. Quite easy to just get a little bit laps and speed up a touch, 55. try and get on with the next frame, but important in this format to try and clear the table. Yeah, the group yesterday on table two was uber tight. First four matches, all draws. Then Michael Holt won 3-0 against Ben Wollaston, which meant that 61. either Zhao Gudong or Zhou Yulong had to win 3-0 in the last match to tie Michael Holt and it was Zhao Gudong who did it with breaks of 70 and 90 so they had identical points scored 5 68. identical frames won loss records 7-4 69 their head to head was 2-2 two -two, so it came down to as Stephen said the high break and Zhao Gudong throughout the day, his best was 109. Michael Holtz was 91, and so it was Zhao who got the, the nod. 76. Yeah, and as well, what Matthew's doing here is keeping Judd in his chair. We all know what Judd's capable of. Try and keep him sat there as long as possible. It wasn't just the missed cue in this frame. He missed a straightforward red early, then went in off. 84. But his most damaging stroke obviously 85. was that violent miscue. 91. Ninety-three. Possible 118 break here for Matthew Stevens. And as Stephen has explained, when all is said and done, 96. that could be gold dust. Yeah, when Matthew Stephen woke up this morning, this would have been the chance that he would have dre dreamt of in an opening frame. You want to get off to a good start in this format, try and get at least a result. At worst, a draw, otherwise you're right up against it. This has been a great first frame for Matthew Stevens. 111. 
111. Well, that Miss Black be expensive. Right now, he's just pleased, and rightfully so, to make a century to open proceedings. He leads Judd Trump 1-0. Welcome back to the Morningside Arena where Judd Trump lost the first frame against Matthew Stevens to a break of 111, but now leads 2-1 thanks to runs of 109 and 58 of his own. It means Trump is guaranteed a draw in the first match of Group B, but of course he wants a full three points. On Tuesday... And yesterday, the winner of our first match on table one went on to top the group. Rob Milkins and Sean Murphy. You can top a group after losing your first match, but it's a real rarity. One. Oh, another Judd Trump special there. What a pot he's got there. Superb queuing, and look at the cue ball. He's held it absolutely spot on for the black. Great chance this is. Eight. Hand on the side cushion, queuing down to try and grab the white. Could not have hit that any nicer. Beautiful strike. Nine. First frame, Mr. Red, he had a very sloppy in off and a terrible miscue. But since then, he's looked really sharp. Looked really determined also. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Chose to take the more difficult red because it was easier for him to get up for the blue that way. Thirty. Thirty-one. Now there is a loose red available for Judd just underneath the pink. Goes to both the corner and right middle. Maybe a plant available as well, which would help. Could just buy him a few more shots. Wouldn't necessarily need to go into the pack just yet. Thirty six. Thirty seven. Thirty 
43. Forty-four. Snag. He didn't expect the red that was also involved in that plant to come down and get in the way of the black. Snag resolved. What a pink. Yeah, that's another great pot from Judd Trump. There was pressure on that one. He was going into the reds and opening them up. Fifty. But they're the aggressive attacking shots that these top boys get more times than not. 51. What pressure. This is now a great chance to take this match. And this will be a fantastic start to the day for Judd Trump. He's played very well. But for that opening frame. 57. And another opportunity to... Put a big break on the board. 58. This red and any colour. And Matthew 65. Stevens will need snookers. Frankly, where the balls are, 66. he needs a miracle. And again, it came from that really nice opening red from Judd Trump. Reeling this one off in no time. 73. 74. 74. Yeah, this match is going to be over before the second frame 85. is over on table two. Eighty eight. Having a lower high break at the moment than Matthew Stevens is not really an issue because if it did come down to 96. a tie break between these two, Trump has now won their head to head, which is higher in importance. 97. But. Clearing here might help in a tie break with the other two players in the group two. if it comes down to that. And what a message he's sending out to everyone else in his group. Joe Perry, Kao Yu Peng will be watching on. For the second time, Jet Trump makes a century, then 